What is going on guys, and today we're on HD PvP, which is a brand new server, and it's actually been re-released, it used to be the number one server in 2011, and it is finally back, so it's actually just been released today, a few hours ago, so if you haven't already, then definitely check it out, it's got quite a number of people online already, and it has one of the best combat systems that I've seen on the server to be honest, so gonna be doing some PKing and showing some general stuff about the server, so yeah, let's get into this video. Now, some of you guys may have heard of the server Alora, and the owner of this server is actually the guy who is the advertising manager for them, so this guy definitely knows how to bring in lots of players, so I expect this server to be one of the biggest servers out there. Right, so first up, you have a pretty cool vote point sure, so there's like mystery boxes, blood money, rock tails, and blood money is the main currency on this server, so you can use that to buy pretty much everything that you need. There's also lots of summoning charms that you can use to buy for summoning. And you can also obtain gold points, which you can use to buy quite a lot of stuff, like all the PvP armor, some untradeables as well. So the gold points can be found here, and there's even weaponry, such as Chaotix, Fester Longsword, and lots of other cool stuff. And they've also got quite a lot of cool cosmetics as well, such as the such as the Scythe, Skeleton Set, Sansa Set, and lots of other cool things as well. And there is a skilling aspect to this game, so you can train all of your skills up, apart from the combat sets, which you can set manually, so you can pretty much choose any setup that you want. It is, it is primarily a PKing server, so you can pretty much customise your stats to whatever you want. And if you want a max cape, then you can... There's not many requirements for a max cape, you just need 99 in every skill, as well as 20 pest control games, 50 kills, and winning at least 10 duels. For completionist cape, there is a bit more requirements, though, such as getting the fire cape, winning 10 clan wars, playing for 12 hours, and 99 summoning, so it's quite easy to get these capes, to be honest, so not much effort is required. And there's also a guy here who can decant your potions, recharge your Wrangle Wealth, and make a Dragon Fire Shield if you already have a Draconic Visage, which is pretty cool. And if you do get some PvP artifacts from PK, you can exchange them with this guy to get a decent amount of blood money, and also you can, if you're not Skulled, then you can talk to this guy to be Skulled. Or you can just type colon colon skull in game to be Skulled, but it's still pretty cool. And if you are starting on the server, you probably don't want to be hacked so talk to this guy to set yourself up with a bank pin and you can even set a recovery question that you can only like you know the answer to so that way no one else can hack your account and one of the most unique things on this server to be honest is the shop so it is really cool like for example the winners expensive they have lots of chaotics rings and um, the karasi swords but if you want basic stuff like melee weapons they're all in here so you can buy all the rune um, there's even dragon and stuff so you can see here that they sell lots of expensive stuff for you that you can buy for blood money. So the Umdor God Sword, the Bandos, um, all of the rare boots as well. So there's lots of stuff that you can buy in here. And they even have rares as well, like party hats and stuff, which is found on the cosmetics and then expensives. So yeah, there's lots of cool rares that you can buy in this shop, such as all the party hats, all the Halloween masks as well. So yeah, it's really cool. So there is like, so yeah, the shop is really cool. It contains basically everything that you need. Another cool thing on this server is that they have loads of presets for everything. So for example, if you want a pure NH, then just click yes equip and it will come up with the exact inventory that you need. And also after a fight, if you need to like restore your prey, your special attack and HP, just talk to this person and right click heal. So that's pretty much it. And for example, if you want a main hybrid as well, then just click yes, equip this preset and it automatically brings it up and we're also switched to the ancient book automatically, so that is really cool, not gonna lie. And also if you do want to teleport in game or do some bossing to earn some extra GP, then you can find it right here. There's also loads of PKing teleports for like clans and stuff. There's quite a lot of mini games, including Duel Arena, Warriors Guild and Dicing as well, for those who want to try their luck. There's also quite a number of bosses, including Nex, to get all those Nex armors, which it would be quite overpowered when PKing, so if you want to get your hands on the Nex pieces, then you're going to have to do Nex. There's also all the God Wars bosses as well, and of course the KBD and Tormented Demons for Claws, and there's lots of cool bosses and they're all fully working. If you want to train your Slayer skill as well, then there's lots of cool monsters that you can train on. And for skilling as well, there's lots of skilling uh, areas that you can teleport to to try and get your Completionist Cape or Max Cape. And for Slayer, like there's lots of Slayer like teleports, such as the Slayer Tower, Tablet Dungeon, etc. And of course, there's the cities where you can teleport to. Like they even included like Tizar City, so that's pretty cool. Right, so gonna be fighting this guy in Rune. I'm currently in full banner, so yeah, I'm in pretty overpowered gear to be honest. Let's just pop up quickly. Already hitting quite high with a whip. Oh, 456. Oh no, we're not in vengeance. Oh well, I think we can kill him with the AGS anyway. We've got Celtic mod as well. Oh my days, we just wine whip sect him. Alright, Celtic Maul, can I hit anything? 249, that is a decent amount, not gonna lie. Let's switch back to our whip. This guy is getting absolutely destroyed. Alright, let's go with the AGS. Come on. 645, no way. Good fight, dude. That guy just got absolutely destroyed. 
We got 102 blood money, so I'll be taking all of his loot very gladly. Good fight, mate, and thanks for playing. Oh, there comes the DDS. Luckily, it hits zero on me. Like, another rune guy thingy would kill me. Let's try the Chaotic Maul. Can it hit anything? Ah, oh, zero. That's quite unfortunate. Oh, his D-Skim hit a 180 when I was in full bandles. How can it hit that much? Right. Oh, no, we've got Vengeance again. Oh, dear. Hopefully... Okay, we're only on 40% special attack at the moment, but once we get enough special attack, then we should be able to go for the AGS. Oh, a 453 with a Chaotic Maul. That was quite close, not gonna lie. Right, 50% special attack. Can we kill him with the AGS? AGS go. Oh, we only hit 142. That's quite unlucky, not gonna lie. Poke him with the AGS, because why not? But hit a zero. Right, 290 minutes vengeance. Oh, that DS hit a zero. He could oh, we all miskilled him with the Chaotic Maul. 492. Come on, kill him again. 318. That is really unlucky. If only we'd hit slightly higher, we could have killed him. Right, let's try the Chaotic Maul. 72 XP drop. Oh my days, 513 with the Chaotic. And he also specs is like a 500 or something, which is pretty insane. Oh, he's out of food. Oh, we got him with a whip KO anyway, as he ran out. Good fight, dude. I'll be taking all of that loot and the 105 blood money. So yeah, guys, definitely check the server out. The link can be found in the description. And if you did enjoy the video, then make sure to leave a like, comment any feedback, and subscribe to my channel. So thanks for watching, guys.